So hello guys welcome back to the channel I hope you all are absolutely fine and sound in this video will cover this amazing lab so simply click on start lab and if you get this kind of error do not worry about it just refresh the browser window and restart the lab again. Now if you are completely new to this channel I will suggest subscribe the channel like the video and share among your communities. Now open the console incognito window now here basically it is getting signed in automatically if it asks for username and password refer to the lab instruction now follow as i am doing so that you get full score on this lab without any issue now here simply click on i understand and wait for the console page to get opened it will take some time so wait for it now here another pop-up will come here simply you have to just click on I agree and agree and continue. I hope many of you have already completed some of the labs. So you must be knowing how to proceed up to here. And even if you are not knowing, here is the way. Now we have to just enable one API and then after that we have to create a workbench instance. So how will do it? Do not worry from here you can see in the navigation menu. Here is API and services just below to the marketplace. Now here we have to just click on the library section and enable the vertex AI API. Just follow as I am doing. Now here you can type it also. And just select the first one. And then click on enable. It will take few seconds so wait for it. Now once the API is enabled, we will navigate to the workbench page. So wait for it to get open. Now from here, you can see here is the page. Now from here, vertex AI, then just scroll down a bit and click on the workbench. Now here basically we have to create a notebook instance. First of all, you have to click on instance. Before that, you have to enable the notebook API. How you have to do? Do not worry. Everything will be covered in this video. So do like the video too. Now here you can see enable notebook API is being shown over here. Click on it. After that, wait for some time. And if you have to click on instance, if by default instance page is not being shown over here, let me show you. So here you can see instance page is here. Click on it. And if by default it is not shown here, just click on it. Now we have to create an instance. Now from here, click on create new and for the instance name, come to the lab instruction and just create the instance name and for the region zone, it will be as per the lab instruction. So come to here, task number one, copy the name. Okay, copy the name carefully and then just paste over here and for the region, you can see region and zone is different. Always select as per the lab instruction. Now all things are cleared. Just click on create. It will take some time. So wait for it. Now sometimes what happens you get unnecessary error or files are not visible. In that case you have to just click on this checkbox below the filter and an option mentioning the reset. You have to just click on the reset option and the notebook will reset itself. Then you have to just open the Jupyter lab. I will show you how you have to do it. Basically opening up the Jupyter lab if it is not shown over here. Now here you can see our CNN network challenge. Basically the Jupyter notebook is here. As I have shown over here, in this way you have to reset in case you are getting any kind of error. Okay, now wait for this to get updated and then we will open the Jupyter lab. Now once the notebook is ready, you have to click on open Jupyter lab like this. Now sometimes what happens we get error like once after resetting it, we get error like page is not working, etc. Like this. In that case, you have to come back again to the workbench page and open the Jupyter lab. You can wait for a minute and retry again. So let's try again and let's see. Now here you can clearly see now Jupyter notebook is now ready. Now here basically we have to just go to the terminal and copy the file and do not worry each and everything will be covered in this video. You won't be able to face any issue and get full score without any issue. Now here simply click on the terminal option. Now once the terminal is ready come to the lab instructions 
and simply come over here to the task number 2 and just paste over here and wait for this command to get copy all the files. Now once the file is ready you have to just check the score and then wait for a few seconds and you can see we have got the score now in the description box i've shared this file just download it and it will download it to your local system now simply open the jupyter lab and you have to just upload the file how to upload click on it and simply select the files and it will be uploaded over here now wait for the file to get loaded and after that we have to just open it so here you can see the file is listed over here you have to simply click on it and just update the region in case the region is not updated you have to just check it out and please follow the video completely otherwise you won't be able to get full score you will be stuck at 90 or 95 even at 65 too so here you can see the terminal is getting ready and make sure it is tensorflow 2-11 local so make sure it is like this the version is set to basically runtime is set to tensorflow now come over here and just select it and use this play button to run it do not worry about this error just come over here and run this both the command and wait for the second command to get completed after that the kernel will be restarted in the third command and after that we'll move forward to the next step so just stay tuned now here simply just click on this play button and here you can see the kernel restart option is enabled now wait for the kernel to get restarted and basically come to the lab instruction and from here you can just update the region like this and what we have to do we have to run each command one by one till the end okay i'll show you how you have to run it now wait for it so here you can see the kernel is now idle how it is idle you can see the circle is not filled that means the kernel is idle now you have to run all the commands how you have to run it click on this shell wait for it and here you can see run selected cells and all below now this will take at least 40 to 45 minutes yes you heard it right it will take 40 to 45 minutes make sure your internet is not disconnected make sure your laptop does not go and sleep so that you get full score on this lab without any issue now simply wait for at least 45 to 50 minutes and you will be done with this lab i know this lab is time consuming you can just wait only for this particular lab one more important thing is that for other basically for other placement skill badges you can check the description box also one more important thing i wanted to share after the lab ends we will get 95 out of 100 you need to follow the video till the end so that you get full score on this video sorry lab so let's wait for some time Now here you can finally see that the kernel is idle and all the tasks are successfully completed. Now we have to simply move to the lab instruction and check the score for all the particular tasks. You can see here we have got full score and sorry we have got 95 out of 100. Okay we have got only 95 out of 100. Now simply activate the cloud shell. For the 5 score what we have to do I will show you do not worry about it. If you have followed this video then you will get 100 out of 100 without any issue. And if you face any issue you can let me know in the comment section. Do join our telegram channel guys. Now come over here to the task number 1. Basically enable all the APIs. Run it and hit enter. Now once the API is enabled we have to check the score. I repeat you have come. we have to come to the enable required API section. Just be above the task. Okay here you have to come sorry google services you have to come and then you have to check the score and that's how we completed the lab guys do like the video and subscribe the channel